Low Tide by Laban Colley. Laban Colley was born in Holland but grew up in Santa Monica, California. He grew up in a musical family and started making a buzz for himself when he was a teenager. He has done a song with Playboy Cardi and Sid of Odd Future. He wrote the song Time with Snow Allegra, which ended up being sampled by Drake on Do You Wrong. He has gotten cosigns from some of the biggest people in the game, including Usher and Quincy Jones. How do you feel about the music though? Here's our honest review of Low Tide by Laven Kali. Laven Kali. Low Tide. Love how I messed his name up, right? But when she was doing the bio, I kept correcting her. <laughs> but when we get the camera on, I mess up the name. It's all good. It be like that sometimes, It be man. like that. How you feel about this album artwork? It's uh, colorful, I guess you could say. No, I mean, it's kind of cool. Um, I'm not too particular fond of the layout and everything of the just everything like that. But I do like how they got the strips of his name and low tie and everything like that. But it's cool. It's fine. Yeah, I mean, well, the album cover, I'm not completely sold on. Uh, the, the yellow tape is kind of cool with the letters, mm -hmm. kind of, and the tape looks kind of scrunched. Yeah. The little pink circles, I don't I don't get that. Yeah. I mean, I don't I don't get if there's a meaning behind it. The pose, the pose is cool. Yeah. But as, like, an overall album cover, like, initially, I don't see this being something that'll grab somebody's attention to make right. them want to listen. Right. You know what I'm saying? And it doesn't feel like it has anything to do with the actual project true but that's the least of the worries here yeah the least the flow of this project is fire yeah. like it felt like fucking dylan dillinger lava just flowing as i was listening to this coming through my damn speakers man the flow of this is very like i, mean, I can just say unexpected because you know just by the way it started with welcome then it went to mine and then halfway through you just get like a whole bunch of instrumental stuff and oh my god it's just it's just a fire <laughs> that's all it really is highlights man look i could sit here and name every song on this joint as a highlight yeah. there's a couple things i want to point out i'm going to skip to my offer because man that damn beat break at the beginning of the song the Whoever the motherfucker is on the saxophone, <laughs> he was killing it, man. Yeah, I was yeah. getting old school. My mom listening to Kenny G type vibes. That joint is fire. And then how he came in, though. Then the way he came in yeah, was super dope. Yeah. I love the message in the song. Everything was cool. Yeah. Uh, Welcome is the um, intro of the album, and it starts off with, you know, one of those musical vibes. It's mm -hmm. just so smooth, so chill. Mm -hmm. When Cassandra came in, I was oh, <laughs> Like, you know what I'm Cassandra. saying? I was just like, <laughs> yo, this joint is fire, yeah, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it was crazy, man. And then you get Ardenasic, basically Cassandra backwards. <laughs> I thought that was a dope flip. Nice pronouncing. I like that. Because I was just like Cassandra backwards. <laughs> I, I, I be get, hey, I get it right when I don't care. <laughs> and when I do care, I get it wrong. So, you know, just throw that out the window. But yeah, uh, yeah that joint was fire as well. Do you wrong with Sid when I heard Sid? Perfect. I was just like, yo, this is dope. Uh, there's something I want to add at the very end, so make sure you stay for that about the whole Sid beat, um, being on the song. But she killed it. I like um, everything she had being involved with that. One on one has to be my favorite joint. It just sounds like it's straight from the '80s. They use an '80 instrument, yeah. like '80 sounding instruments, the vibes. Uh, something wrong and nothing wrong or straight fire as well. I like the fact that some of the songs sound like they didn't actually quantize it. It actually sound like the the band was actually just playing and they were just going off of the feel, and and they were nailing it. This joint is crazy. You know when they say uh, this this is a vibe. This whole album is a vibe, like literally, like from the beginning to the end. It's just a whole mood, man. I feel like it was just a whole setting, like a whole like jazz setting or something like that. It's just real smooth. When you hit it with Welcome and then Mine came in, I was just like, yo, what what is Dame sent me? What is this? <laughs> like, I was in here tripping, just grooving. But when Cassandra hit, I was just like, okay, we getting a little bouncy. But then, you know, all the songs are a highlight. I'm just going to say that right now. But then when it goes into nothing wrong, my pen, like just that whole flow. Like she thought it was one long song. I did too, cause I had to look back at it. I'm like, okay, hold on. There's 11 tracks on here, and I'm already on "Do You Wrong," but I wasn't complaining. Like I was just like, yo, that was dope. Um, but yeah, "Do You Wrong" was was perfect. My offer, that has to be my my favorite on here because just of just just the the mood it set, and then just how it came at the end. And um, mad at you. I really love that song. And um, yeah, this 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 project's dope. This is really dope. 
Low lights, man. I ain't got none. I think this dude is going to be a star for years to come. Like, this joint is amazing. I see why Quincy Jones is backing him. See why Usher is backing him. Like, I see why people are giving him these cosigns. You know, Snow Allegra, mm-hmm. Drake sampling the joint that he wrote. You remember, Tom? Yeah. The, uh, like, it, it, it's, this joint is dope. You need to get on it right now. This is definitely going to be one of the highlights for the rest of the year. Yeah, um, like, get on it right now. I don't have no low lights. Um, only low lights, I could say. I want Welcome to Be Longer. <laughs> I don't know, because that tune was dope, but that's nitpicking. But this whole album is just great from beginning to end. I just like the flow of it. Yeah. If they can just get put an hour long uh, session of my offer out, bruh, that joint, I would chill and lay back be, to that. I might even smoke. <laughs> that's how. That's how much of a chill vibe that joint is. <laughs> uh, final thoughts. Yeah. Same thing I just said a, a second ago, man. This dude is a star for years to come. Everybody needs to turn around, pay attention, man. You know. Somebody need to backflip on the bed you're sleeping on, man. You know, Lupe Fiasco style, because this joint right here is something you need to be hearing. Ditto. What he said. This is just something that you need to be hearing. Um, I, I sound like real bias right now, but literally, go listen to this. Like, it's just, you have to listen to it because it's just such a vibe. The vocals are on point, And just the whole instrumental flow of the album just really, it just takes you there. Final grade, man. Obviously, it's getting a check. This dude singing his ass off on this joint, writing his ass off on this joint. Yeah. Check for sure. Check, check, check. Check this out. Tell a friend to check this out. Just dope music, man. Support dope music, y'all. 